there is so much flavor off of the beef. This is fantastic. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I mean, this is finger licking good. Yeah. Mm. I wanted to challenge myself this week to step outside of my comfort zone. Luckily for me in Silver Lake and Sawtell of Los Angeles, Filipino owned Spoon and Pork provided me with not just that opportunity, but a new appreciation for our culture that just so happens to be the second largest Asian American group in the US. Huh, who knew? More importantly, the food goes crazy. We grew up in the Philippines. Being a young guy that just moved here from the Philippines, we were both scared of like just jumping into the industry. Me and Raymond, we never been chefs. We didn't go to culinary school. We didn't know what the business is. And in 2016, uh, that's when we kind of got serious already. We were like at a point of our lives that we were uh, kind of thinking, okay, I think we should really go with our passion at this point. So we were like, all right, why don't we just, uh, we were thinking, why don't we just do Filipino food? Since we grew up in the Philippines, I mean, this is, you know, it reminds us of home, like this, the flavors we grew up with. You know, we plan actually selling Filipino food in a um, farmer's market first. And then that didn't work because the farmer's market didn't have space for us. So whatever we had saved up, we put it on a food truck. So we're like, all right, let's just do this. Worst case, it doesn't work out. We can, you know, get rid of the food truck. It sounded like a big investment, you know. So three months in, what was was pretty awesome. Uh, LA Weekly at that time voted us best food truck in Los Angeles. We were having lunch at 2 p.m. after the food truck um, trip to West LA. We went back to the commissary, and then we went to this restaurant. We met this lady who actually owned this building. See, she just went up to us and asked us, "Hey, what are you?" two young guys doing in this restaurant at 2 p.m. And we were like, um, we own a food truck actually. And she was like, oh, that's crazy. I'm in the food industry as well. So I'm like, oh, what do you do? I own a bunch of buildings in Silver Lake. And the funny thing is me and Raymond, we were having that conversation in that restaurant. What location should we look for? And there you go. I mean, someone from heaven just dropped this girl in front of us. And then she told us, if you're really, if you're really interested, um, you know, the, the next day you can, you can check out the restaurant. Come November, LA Times, you know, came by and did a great review for the restaurant. Tejal, the writer of New York Times, voted our vegan dish to be one of the best dishes here. And they named it as LA's top 15 dishes for 2019. And then LA Times named the patita top 15 dishes of LA 2019. It's funny because when we were in the food truck, we would always joke around, like, when is Jonathan Gold coming? Or are we gonna get the Michelin? And then it all just got here. It was, it's just weird. I'm like, it's so surreal. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in on watching our story here on Spoon and Pork. The whole point of this is to show food culture in LA, but to also show the most authentic stories we can serving the best food. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it would really help out the channel. It really helps out with the algorithm and it just really helps share it to your friends, family, anybody that's interested into food. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to bringing you the next video. I've only had takeout from here, so I, I didn't get a chance to actually dine in. Mm -hmm. So I'd love for you to walk us through this Filipino food. Okay. What do, what do you have for us here? Adobo pork belly nigiri okay. and the mushroom salpicao. Okay. So adobo is the perfect way to start things because adobo actually is our national dish. Adobo essentially is like soy, vinegar, 
garlic, uh, bay leaves, peppercorn. It varies from like each household. It's crazy. Like everybody has their own version of adobo. Mm -hmm. We have over 7,000 islands in the Philippines. Oh my God, this is so nice and tender. Enjoy. <laughs> And what is this just on just for me to know? All right. On top is like our own blend of like furikake, fried garlic, chives in there. Okay. And then we even do our own sriracha, okay. which we call sriracha. Sriracha? Sriracha in the Philippines means delicious or good. Okay, good, so. okay, good. <laughs> this is fantastic. Thank you. I'm not a big pork guy, so for me, it has to really be exceptional. I do love pork belly, mm -hmm. but this is this is really, really good. Thank you. Really, really good. Is there like a tip on how you make great pork belly? Because sometimes when I have it, there's not like a nice crispy edge. Is yeah. it just like all in the preparation? With any tough cut of meat, um, you actually want to like just cook it very slow. So you want the meat, the fat to actually render out. The best way to do it is just slow and slow. Oh, nice. So right here now, this is called the uh, shroom salpicao. Origin of this, basically, uh, the Philippines was run under Spain. We were colonized for like over 400 years. Uh -huh. So this is kind of like a mismatch of Spain and Asia, you know, Philippines. So, so what we have here is oyster sauce, um, some garlic butter, essentially. Normally this dish is cooked with um, beef in the Philippines or steak. So we wanted to add uh, mushrooms here, so this is our take on it goes really well with rice. A lot of customers actually save the sauce and then when they get their main, they put they that all over rice. the rice pan. Okay, great, <laughs> let me try this. Oh, what I'm noticing is a little, it's rich. Mm -hmm. It's a little sweet, right? Yes. That's another thing that I struggle to cook at home is how to make delicious mushrooms, so. One tip with mushrooms though is, you know, for you not to get like the slimy texture, like that kind mm. of mouthfeel, is you have to really cook it high heat. You wanna like, really brown the mushrooms. <laughs> mm. This is really, really good. Well, it's easily the best mushrooms I've ever had. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I am not a vegan, but <laughs> if I was, I would definitely order these mushrooms every day. This is sensational. Really, really, I'm trying not to cuss anymore. <laughs> really, really, really good, man. Really good. Jay, I saw you get a little excited when yes. I wanted to try the beef tapas. Can you please walk us through this one? The beef tapa, okay. So the beef tapa, um, one of the most favorites, I would say, breakfast dishes in the Philippines. This beef tapa that we're serving is pretty much homage to one of our favorite beef tapa restaurants in the Philippines. It. And it's called Rufus. Okay. And this is exactly how they serve it. There's two fried eggs, of course, your garlic rice, the beef tapa, which is marinated in soy vinegar, um, garlic and peppers, and the achara. So achara, the achara, achara, this is a green papaya slaw. Okay. So it's a green papaya pickle that is common in Filipino breakfast dishes. Gotcha. This is called tap silog. Tap so tap silog is three components in the plate. Tapa, meaning the beef, silog, meaning the rice, and log, meaning the eggs. Okay, great. So that's a combination. And then, of course, tap it silog. comes with the vinegar. This okay. is our spicy vinegar that and, you can dab into. And, and the vinegar is for what part? It's for the beef. Okay. Yo, so traditionally all 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 Filipino bread, we love vinegar with our uh with our breakfast dishes. Oh shoot. Okay. There is so much flavor off of the beef. The fact that this is so juicy and flavorful, you guys, this is exceptional. Thank you. I, I mean, wonder why you guys are winning all these, ah, all these you, reviews man. and all this, all this stuff. Thank you. I'm not gonna cuss. I'm trying not to cuss. Please cuss. No. <laughs> but man, this is unbelievable. Damn. So this is oh, the yeah, dish that made us. Appetite, man. Bro. This is what we're known for. It. Oh, bro. <laughs> You probably work out a lot. That's why you have that appetite. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm, on a, I'm on a bulk anyway, so this is this is working there out for me. Go. You know, you just dropped off something here that that is uh, very impressive. It's called the patita. Patita, which uh, literally translates to little foot. Little foot. Yeah. Uh, so this is the dish that actually um, put us on the map. So this is what we're really known for. Uh, 
in the Philippines, we have this dish called crispy pata. Uh -huh. So it's uh, basically a pork shank that we slow cook, air dry, and then deep fry. So we wanted to do a version of ours that's a little bit smaller, hence the name patita. And normally, uh, there's a dipping sauce that's served on the side, but with us, we actually wanted to do a glaze. So this is inspired with like Thai barbecue chicken and Korean fried chicken, wow. like what we've had here. This is amazing. Like okay. this is our comfort food. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. All right. You're not playing fair. This, I mean, look at this. The skin is so cr crispy, and it's 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 literally tender on the inside, just like you said. I am strongly a beef and chicken guy. This goes crazy. So, thank you so much for introducing me to this. What what else is next? Because boy. <laughs> I mean, this is finger licking good. Yeah. Mm. So essentially, curry curry is a peanut based stew. It's got short rib, uh, green beans, eggplant, mm -hmm. bok choy, king oyster mushroom, some peanut brittle just for like crunch. And what is the bagong XO? So bagong XO is essentially a fermented shrimp paste that we saute. Uh, there's some dried scallops in there, uh, pork tomato, garlic, add a little bit of that, put some on the meat, just have some sauce and then rice. And there you go. Okay, so something like Perfect this. Bite. And then have a little bit of rice and enjoy. Still my favorite too. <laughs> this was the first thing I had. Mm. We are really proud of this one. The thing that this is in a peanut butter sauce. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm noticing is all the great restaurants are not afraid to explore their menu. I mean, authenticity means so many things. So what could be authentic for you isn't for me. So if, let's say I grew up with this dish that's made with, with oxtail, and then, you know, I, I go next door, and he grew up with the dish that's made with short rib. And what, what is it? Who am I to say, like, hey, yours isn't authentic? It, it's authentic to him. It's what he grew up with. It's yeah. what, you know, so... Yeah, I mean, we still get, oh, your food's not authentic, stuff like that, but this is authentic to us because this is what we grew up on. These are the flavors that we know. Yeah. So to us, this is authentic food. Yeah. Raymond, I cannot thank you enough for letting us come in here and getting a chance to see what you guys do so, so well. Uh, just know you're truly appreciated. A foodie such as myself loves the opportunity. I'm sure that there's going to be people in here that have never heard, never tried, Filipino food, so I'm hoping that this is a, a great way of spotlighting how incredible the cuisine is. It's very, very, to be honest, unexpected because you know we don't, I don't know that much a, a, about the Philippines. Um, so to have you here, I know I've said it a few times, but just thank you, thank you to Jay. This has been some of the best food I've ever had in Los Angeles. It's easy to throw around the word best these days, but we're talking about top notch. You guys are right there with any place, you know, anything that they would consider fine dining, they need to come over here and, and have what you guys are serving. That so, a lot. yeah, dude. Thank you. Fantastic, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. The sauce is down there. Yeah. So, usually, yeah, that and like the super rice. That's <laughs> so, usually, like, when we've had a clear corner, no, we leave it. So we're like, oh. <laughs> so we're actually going to come up with uh, like a steak dish now for dinner. That's going to be like actually something about this going to be like a steak. So you're going to be really sure that. Honestly, this is so much better with steak. So really? This, rice, that was our like. <laughs> oh, dude.